नमस्कार टुडे विल स्टडी एम टू रिसेप्टर हुज लोकेशन इज मेनली कार्डियक इन द हार्ट एंड एम टू रिसेप्टर इज ऑल्सो प्री सिनाप्टिक सो एम टू रिसेप्टर्स आर लोकेटेड ऑन द न्यूरो न्यूरोन्स और नॉर्व एंडिंग्स फ्रॉम हुई चेस्टल कोलिन इज रिलीज एंड इनहिबिट इट्स ओन रिलीज सो ऑटो इनिबिटरी so m2 receptor is also called as the auto receptor and it inhibits its own release in the uh, presynaptic nerve endings and in the heart its function is bradycardia mainly and this m2 receptor is a g protein coupled receptor and it is a type of gi g protein coupled receptor inhibitor and let us see uh, the g protein coupled receptor uh, the adenylate cyclase and cyclic amp pathway so when the agonist binds to a g protein coupled receptor this is gs there will be activation of adenylate cyclase which converts uh, atp to cyclic amp and now the cyclic amp is the second messenger this cyclic amp Uh, binds to the protein kinase A, which is inactive to the regulatory subunit. So, protein kinase A, uh, which is cyclic AMP dependent, uh, has four subunits: two regulatory subunits, two catalytic subunits. To the regulatory regulatory subunits, there are uh, uh, sites for four cyclic AMP. So, four cyclic AMP binds to the uh, two different regulatory subunits of protein kinase A. and uh, makes it active so that that means the catalytic subunits are now released the active subunits are released which uh, so that means cyclic amp activates protein kinase a which is a cyclic amp dependent protein kinase and uh, it now becomes active to show cellular functions and in case of gi this adenyl cyclase will be inhibited so that there will be no cyclic amp formula, formation and uh, in the cardiac muscle and the, the cardiac muscle contraction is uh, following the slide filament theory where in the center we have this uh, thick filament and on the two sides there are thin filaments and uh, this thin filament uh, consists of uh, myosin and this myosin has heads uh, these red spots are the heads to sorry this is actins this actins has this red spots uh, to which the myosin um, binds so myosin has a tail and this thick filament consists of myosin and myosin heads are uh, coming out here and this is the myosin head this is myosin tail and this myosin head can bind with the uh, myosin binding sites of actin so that these thick filaments will uh, slide the thin filaments uh, towards it and because of which there will be contraction of the sarcomere and the z dicks will uh, come closer and th there will be contraction of the cardiac muscle and uh, this uh, myosin binding sites of the actins are covered by uh, tropomyosin and this is regulated by another regul regulatory protein called troponin and when calcium binds with troponin this uh, uh, tropomyosin is replaced so that this is exposed and actin myosin binding occurs and there will be contraction of the cardiac muscle so this is uh, the figure of actin where uh, this is the myosin binding site and uh, this is example of beta 1 receptor where uh, 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 adenyl cyclase is activated cyclic amp is formed then uh, there will be activation of protein kinase a which will release calcium calcium binds with troponin alter tropomyosin actin myosin binding occurs and contraction of cardiac muscle occurs so <coughs> m2 receptor if we if we see m2 receptor then in case of m2 receptor this adenyl cyclase is inactivated because uh, there is this is a gi type of g protein coupled receptor where alpha i binds to the alpha adenyl cyclase and inhibits uh, uh, adenyl cyclase and there will be inhibition of conversion of atp to cyclic amp so there will be decrease in cyclic amp 
and cyclic AMP mediated contraction of cardiac muscle is inhibited. The, what we see, this is cyclic uh, AMP mediated contraction in case of uh, beta 1 receptor which results in contraction of cardiac muscle and when there will be no cyclic AMP formation or decrease in cyclic AMP formation, there will be no contraction. So, this reduce contractile forces of arterial cardiac muscle. Uh, however, there is a little effect on ventricular cardiac muscle. So, it will produce the bradycardia and uh, similarly like to the alpha subunit, beta gamma subunit uh, has the affinity to bind with the potassium channel and it opens the potassium channel in the uh, membrane of uh, cardiac pacemaker cells uh, like SA node and there will be outward current of potassium which will cause the hyperpolarization of the cell, uh, hyperpolarization of the membrane the, in the cardiac cell and it slows down the heart rate producing bradycardia. So, <coughs> in the SA node there is decreased rate of impulse generation, in the AB node there is uh, decreased velocity of conduction and decreased contractility producing bradycardia and uh, the agonists of M2 receptors are methacholine, berberine and antagonists the selective M2 receptor antagonists are galamine, tripitramine and uh, as you know the non-selective muscarinic uh, receptor antagonists are atropine, diacyclovine, etc., which will uh, block all the muscarinic receptors. So, M2 receptors in heart produces bradycardia. In addition, they are present in the presynaptic uh, uh, neurons uh, in the nerve endings and uh, inhibit their own release by causing either inhibition of inhibition of calcium or opening of potassium in which uh, there will be inhibition of depolarization or uh, causing hyperpolarization so that there will be no exocytosis of the neurotransmitter that is acetylcholine and inhibits the re release of acetylcholine. So, this is a autoreceptor, M2 receptor is autoreceptor as far as presynaptic uh, location is concerned and it inhibits neuronal calcium channel and inhibits acetylcholine release. Uh, so, this is all about M2 receptor. Thank you.